you so much. Turning our attention now back to the presidential primary election. Virginia and North Carolina aren't the only states holding elections. More than a dozen other states are also up for grabs tonight. That's right, Kurt. That's why we want to bring in our Scripps News political correspondent Stephanie Liebergen for her expertise this Super Tuesday. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you are taking a closer look at the big picture tonight. Which states can we expect to be the most competitive? Hey guys, good evening. Well, let's start with the Democratic side, a little easier on that side, of course. President Biden expected to have a good night tonight. He's already notched a few wins in the um, Iowa Democratic Caucus that was held by mail-in ballots the last few weeks, and a results announced tonight. He's already been declared the winner uh, here in Virginia and then also in Vermont as well. Um, and then on the Republican side, of course, is where there's a bit more interest, where the former president, former President Donald Trump, is still has a competitor in Nikki Haley. She is fighting for uh, uh, to try to become the Republican nominee, even though her battle just kind of keeps looking further and further uphill. So Haley has been trying to um, reach out to those independent voters, reach out to potentially Democrats who could vote for her in a primary. That's been a bit of her strategy, something that we saw you know, happen on the ground here in Virginia, where we do have an open primary. I talked to voters today who said they voted for Nikki Haley today on the Republican ballot, but they will not be Nikki Haley voters come November. They just didn't want to see former President Trump get that Republican nomination and have a chance of getting back into the White House. So a variety of um, reasons is why people were voting today. Of course, civic duty, some people voting against former President Trump, others saying they want to change and see the country go in a different direction. Um, but a lot of eyes, especially on Nikki Haley and how she's going to do tonight. Stephanie, if this turns into a big night for former President Donald Trump, as expected, can Nikki Haley recover? That's really the biggest question that uh, none of us really has the answer to just yet. Of course, one thing that is critical to any campaign, especially a presidential campaign, is money. As long as she's bringing in fundraising money, she could hypothetically stay in stay out on the campaign trail. Um, but it's really hard to see a path forward for her toward getting the Republican nomination. Former President Trump um, needs a, around a thousand delegates still in order to be considered the presumptive Republican nominee. There are about 860 Republican delegates up for grabs tonight. So the former president won't be able to clinch that nomination, presumptive nominee status tonight, but he certainly could get a lot closer. So Nikki Haley would need to win a number of states um, and really start fighting him for those delegates. And without that, it's really hard to see a path forward for her and her campaign. While they've been campaigning heavily the last few weeks, we don't have any information on what the Nikki Haley campaign might look like tomorrow morning. So I think the results and what happens today in Super, on Super Tuesday is uh, going to have a big impact on what the next few days and the next few weeks look like for Nikki Haley. Well, Stephanie, we'll have to keep an eye out for that big impact as you mentioned it. Stephanie, thank you so much. She is our Scripps News political correspondent, Stephanie Liebergen. Stephanie, thank you so much. <laughs>